This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is David Lenegas, the Executive Chairman of Vinance PLC, following news that the company have raised £447,750 at 12p to assist with raising the company's awareness in the US for its OTCQB listing and to acquire additional Bitcoin miners to boost the company's current Bitcoin mining fleet in North America. But before we get into this bit of news, David, let's talk about the Bitcoin price because it's been doing fairly well, hasn't it, in these last uh, week or two? Nearly at 60,000, I think. Yeah, no, looking at the Bitcoin price right now, it's 59,500. And, um, you know, give it the end of the week and we should be looking at 60,000 US dollars which is great for us. We're, we're a Bitcoin miner, right? We're not a derivative player. We just mine Bitcoin, unadulterated Bitcoin, North America, Canada, and the States. Yeah, and right now, our Bitcoin wallet has just pushed through pretty much a million dollars since we started this whole business. Okay. So, you know, we're in a pretty good position and our break-even is, you know, circa 15,000 US dollars a coin. So, yeah, our leverage is, is huge. So, we're, we're pretty excited about the way this is going. And I think the Bitcoin market has changed irreversibly since the SEC approved you know, ETF, um, Bitcoin, spot, one-to-one. You know, it's just a whole new dynamic. So I think you know, once we get through this halving, if you look at the last sort of three or four halvings, mm -hmm. you're talking 10x on the Bitcoin price. You know, the next halving is due in April. You know, in this next cycle, are we going to see Bitcoin at 500 to 600,000 US dollars in the next four to five years? So it's pretty exciting. And yeah, um, our, our brokers just completed the financing at a premium to the market, the second one at a premium to the market. They like where we're going. Um, How was the appetite for the well. place? The money will be allocated towards increasing our mining fleet with the latest and greatest and the fastest Bitcoin miners that the world produces. We'll look at having a number of those installed um, before the halving. And yeah, we're in pretty good nick. How was the appetite for the placing? Uh, it was done pretty much within days. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, it's good. Good, good. So the plans for the money is to promote over in the United States, but also to... You, look, okay, so you can't sort of say, we're going to raise all this money, we're going to go and gunsling and promote. We're doing a lot of work. Um, with the DTC application, which we announced yesterday morning. Um, the, the, the real issue with stocks that are listed on the OTC market or QB or QX is unless you're DTC eligible, you cannot trade electronically. So we've done a lot of work with our advisors and the people in North America to, to get DTC eligibility sorted. That application went in... Uh, end of last week, we would expect within the coming weeks that DTC eligibility is, uh, is approved. And then that opens up online trading for all of the brokers for finance shares right throughout North America and anybody anywhere in the world who trades OTC, you okay. know, interactive brokers out of Asia or whatever. Okay. So on the back of that, we will now start looking at, at ways of increasing our exposure to uh, investors in America, one of which is really looking seriously at how we get onto NASDAQ. And we've, we've had a lot of institutional approaches uh, in the coming, in the last few weeks that say they would like to see us and, and even assist us um, potentially look at NASDAQ as, as an alternative to OTCQB. Okay. NASDAQ and Frankfurt. So you're actively pursuing these with an ambition to get listing on both? Yeah, absolutely. Frankfurt, not as priority as NASDAQ. I think, you know, because we're a BBI company, we're North American focused, um, we're a Bitcoin miner in North America. Yeah, mm -hmm. look, we'll look at things like Greenland and Iceland and the UAE later, but right now our focus is rolling out a very large Bitcoin mining operation in North America. So really NASDAQ and OTC, QB okay. you know, is, is where we're at. Okay, well, let's talk just a little bit on how, how else the funds will be deployed in terms of getting the extra miners installed here. You want to bring in the first series of next generation S21 miners into the fleet. So what are they all about? I mean, if, if we look at the mining, uh, if the miners we've got in the fleet, we thought we were going pretty well at 120 terahash with the last you know, S19J pros. 
but, but there's a big technology warp drive that's changed, um, particularly with the halving that's coming up in April because people become less competitive uh, as the world fights for 450 Bitcoin a day, not 900 Bitcoin a day after the halving. Mm-hmm. Um, is the, 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 the bit main ant miner uh, S21 is rated at 200 terahash a second, and that's about the fastest machines in the world. So they're now starting to become available through our um, agents, um, Luxor in the States. Um, they're, they're already bringing the first couple into North America, and we've said that we would like very much to be looking at some, some S21s within our fleet um, over the coming weeks. So we're, we're deep in discussions with Luxor and, um, and our data centre providers to, um, to get some S21s into the fleet, yeah. Okay. And is it going to be, you said, looking at both US or Canada? So, I mean, any preference on the two? It's all about power price. I mean, 90% mm-hmm. of your operating cost is power price. That's what makes people uncompetitive. And, and after the halving, people will become even more uncompetitive. You know, power prices stay the same. The amount of Bitcoin becomes less. So, um, you know, it's, it's all about efficiency and speed and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, moving to next generation. It's, it's like going from generation five to generation six, you know, military jet fighters. It's that much of a difference. Okay. So 200 terahash machines are off the clock fast. And what would you like to have in place then before the halving here? Look, we, we'll work with Luxor. You know, maybe we get some more S19J Pros. It's about availability and slot spaces within the data centers and about power price. So, yeah, we've still got another couple of months before the halving. We can install fairly quickly in some of these data centres. I don't want to commit, you know, on on forums like this to things that I I just can't deliver a definitive, you know, outcome. But, you know, our objective is more Bitcoin miners as quickly as we can get, not only up to the halving, but, you know, beyond the halving for the next five years. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time today. David Lenegas, the Executive Chairman of Finance PLC. Great. Thanks, Mark. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.